Can you talk a little bit about some of the findings that the Gates Foundation released at this uh, conference? I, I think that the report that has just been released, the research was done by the University of Washington and funded by the Gates Foundation and IMLS, are going to be critical as we really pursue our advocacy campaign and platform for America's public libraries. Um, it's research that confirms what we know every day, that even people with computers and with internet connections in their home come to the public library. Um, one, because our internet connections are, you know, faster and they're able to do more with our computers, but also they come for the environment we provide that the public librarian and staff is part of that important environment with our expertise that we're able to support people across a wide spectrum of services they need to ac accomplish using computers. Um, and this is everything from the job search, health and wellness, homework support, adult continuing education, e-government, finances, and the findings are there. You know, 77 million Americans are using public library computers on a regular basis, and 69 percent of all Americans are using public libraries. I mean, what could be better news than that? Well, um, certainly Natalie Merchant is the never-to-be-forgotten presentation at the Public Library Association conference. The man in the wilderness. Natalie Merchant uh, offered this opportunity with Baker and Taylor, WEA, and None Such Records to come and perform at the Public Library Association conference uh, and launch her new uh, album that was six years in the making. And we knew it would be great because she's a great singer. But then um, the fact that it came from poetry, that she did all this work and research, much of it at libraries, and then did this huge affirmation and thank you to public librarians at the end, actually singing to them and going out into the audience. There were many people in tears by the end of her performance. Um, it was just a, a remarkable message for all of us about the value of the work that we do and how we change lives and we don't even know. And what do you think you, could, you can say to librarians who are facing, and it's probably about half the librarians in the country who are facing immediate cuts, uh, how is the Public Library Association Conference going to help them get through this period? Well, we have programs that are really focused on making the best decisions around the service reductions that are needed. I mean, that's a reality. People have to cut service and staff, and so there's best practices being shared. I think the Turning the Page ad Advocacy Program, for some people it was the first time they heard the training, for others it was a renewal, and we'll have to continue to advocate to fight for the resources we need to maintain. And then the opportunity to just informally network, um, even with people from your own state, about how are we going to move forward from this point to get back to maintain resources that we have and get back the resources we need to deliver service.